Once we cut our discs, the next step is to make our vertex. And to do this, we make a cut to the center, which is already marked. Then, we take our measurement, which gives us our angle. We draw a line to the center. Which gives us the amount of overlap. And I put a piece of reinforcement at the center since the overlap is small. So I'll mark that out as well. And glue on this side. The glue is ready to be bonded. And what I do is I have to pull it and you can see the material bending and I line up the angle and that's it. Then I'm going to put a couple of bolts in here just for security. This is a construction yeah. strategy. Yeah. Instead of using edges uh -huh. or faces, we're yeah. using vertexes or corners. Homelessness, disasters, refugees, um, instead of just the blue tarp, which is what the United Nations gives people now. <laughs> Any kind of flexible sheet material will work. It's so simple. Yeah. Well, what's, the, what's the cost, total cost of this? $300 worth of material. It's less than a good tent. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, that, that. And when you put it together, you don't have to measure anything. You just put them, in such, put them together in such a way that the rain, the water is going to naturally shed. If you wanted to make them stronger, you could, you could double the thickness. You could, put, you could put another layer of circles on here, so it would be more than twice as strong. You could put, um, you could put a pointy roof on it. You don't have to have a, like a flat roof. You could, like, like the onion domes that you see on uh, Greek Orthodox churches, have a, have a point on the top of it so it would shed the snow. You could do that. You could put a dome inside a dome with a with an airspace in between it. Yeah, I just and the doors, and you could frame frame in the door easily. You know, um, just like any any structure.